What is up my Pokemon Joers? Today we are doing a special video. I had one planned already. It was edited and ready to go as a review for Pokemon Twilight Wings. But then Niantic went and dropped some pretty big news. So I'm actually going to go ahead and upload this news video today. Tomorrow will still be a pack opening. A special pack opening actually. Wednesday you get your TCG online. Thursday you get your 4 versus 4. And Friday is going to be the Twilight Wings upload video. Or I might save it for Super Special Sunday. I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Other than that, guys, check out this video. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start it mm, now. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Pokemon Joe, back with another Pokemon Go news video for you guys. And today, we've got some big news with some big announcements. Uh, Pokemon Go Niantic has officially released all the detail, most of the details for Pokemon Go Fest 2020. Let's go ahead and get into that right now. I could read it to you or you can follow along right over here guys. So let's go ahead and see what it says. All right, it says, Pokemon Go Fest 2020 brings summer adventure to you. Trainers, since announcing the dates for Pokemon, 20, for Pokemon Go Fest 2020 a couple weeks back, we've been so excited to share more details of our first ever virtual event experience in the process of developing this new format, we asked ourselves this. What makes Pokemon Go Fest? Pokemon Go Fest? What do trainers all over all of you around the world and us here at Niantic alike enjoy the most about Pokemon Go Live events and extent and by extension the game itself? If we had to summarize the answer to these questions in just a few words, we'd have to say community, celebration, and challenge. Pokemon Go Fest 2020 comes to you. It will take place over two days. Each day will provide a unique experience as well as a different special research story to enjoy. Trainers will be able to participate in both days of the event with one ticket. So like previous GoFest, you bought Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, and this time you buy just Saturday or Sunday. Also, it was $20, and later on you'll see how much it is now. Pokemon Go Fest 2020, day one. On Saturday, July 25th, my son's birthday, from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. local time, trainers will enjoy the following. Trainers can access a special research story that they can get only on day one. Five rotating habitats themed around fire, water, grass, battle, and friendship will feature special Pokemon that go along with the, that habitat's theme. These habitats will rotate every hour, so each habitat will be featured twice during day one. So you've got fire, water, grass, battle, and friendship, and then it'll go fire, water, grass, battle, and friendship. Now, trainers will be able to work together in the Global Challenge Arena. This GoFest exclusive feature will be available only to ticket holders. In the Global Challenge Arena, trainers will have a chance to join forces in order to complete a collaborative challenge each hour. If trainers complete a challenge, they will earn a bonus for the remainder of that hour. You can check the Global Challenge Arena screen to keep track of global progress. Trainers will be able to encounter over 75 species of Pokemon in the wild, in raids, and by completing special research tasks. So, day one, you're going to get 75 exclusive Pokemon. We'll get more into that later. Now, uh, this is just a picture of what it looks like with the Global Challenge. It says, now playing this challenge, it shows the different cities up top. It shows how many, or what the challenge is, how long it lasts where your progress is and if you look at the bottom it shows where you stand and then underneath that it shows your different friends that are participating as well now pokemon go fest 2020 day two this is where the lack of information comes in which kind of makes it more exciting on sunday july 26 from 10 a.m till 8 p.m local time trainers will enjoy something very different we want the day two experience to be a surprise so ticket holders will learn what we have in store that very day. There will also be another special research story for trainers to enjoy. Guys, with that being said, I'm going to stay off of the um, the Pokemon Go data miners because uh, the Pokeminers kind of do spoil some things. So uh, with that being said, the way it's worded, I definitely want to make sure that it's a surprise for me. And that's not all. Regardless of whether they have a ticket, Trainers in the U.S. can order a commemorative Pokemon Go Fest 2020 t-shirt available online from Pokemon Center. Visit PokemonCenter.com now to purchase a ticket or t-shirt while supplies last. There will also be a free downloadable and printable paper crafts and decorations to help bring the Pokemon Go Fest experience to life for every trainer in your household to enjoy. 
These will be available to download only for a limited time, pretty much origami. We're working on a Pokemon Go Fest microsite which will bring some of our favorite event activities to trainers around the world. Just like the team lounges at in-person Pokemon Go Fest, this site will give players a chance to take a break from catching Pokemon and interact with other trainers, participate in fun giveaways, and get event updates. Stay tuned for more details. Now, this is how to purchase tickets, guys, and I'm just going to tell you, if you don't know how to buy something in the shop, there is something wrong. I will tell you that this is going to cost actual money. It will be $14.99, I believe, should cover the ticket for both days. Yeah, there it is. Uh, tickets are US $14.99. So you're not buying it with Pokey Coins, you're buying it with actual cash. Finally, the lead up to Pokemon Go Fest will bring weekly challenges. Trainers will enjoy an exciting summer of Pokemon Go events leading up to Pokemon Go Fest 2020. All trainers globally, regardless whether they have a Pokemon Go Fest 2020 ticket, will be able to enjoy three weeks of weekly challenges in the form of Pokemon Go Fest 2020 timed research lines. By completing these timed research lines, Trainers will unlock additional Pokemon appearances during Pokemon Go Fest 2020. Stay tuned for more details in the future of that announcement. Now guys, that right there makes me think that we're probably going to get regional exclusives released worldwide during this time period, so uh, that's just going to be my guess. I'm going to assume if it's something like, you know, globally we have to catch one, our team, you know, the blue team has to catch, you know, one million uh, Rotata and the yellow team has to catch one million Pikachu, and then the red team has to catch, you know, one million Doduo. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. This is all speculation on my part. Um, now, with that being said, if we do that, then say we'll unlock Pakarisu during the event, or we'll unlock Tropius during the event, or something like that. I have a feeling that that's where it's going to be. I would like it to be Pakarisu and Sigalith because those are the most least likely ones for me to obtain because one's in the Arctic Circle and the other is in Egypt or Greece only. And it's going to be a long time till I travel to Egypt or Greece or meet somebody from Egypt or Greece. So anyways, next guys, there's some really exciting information. Now this one guys, this, this means a lot to me. Uh, it says a lot about Niantic and where their heart stands and guys, I really appreciate this. Niantic says, we'll be donating Niantic proceeds from GoFest ticket sales, committing a minimum of $5 million. Half of the proceeds donated will be used to fund new projects from Black Gaming and AR creators that can live on the Niantic platform with the goal of increasing content that represents a more diverse view of the world. The other half will go to U.S. nonprofit organizations that are helping local communities rebuild. Now, guys, the reason that that makes me very excited is because I am Caucasian, as you can see. I live in the hood, which I've mentioned in different things. I am one of the most hood white people you'll ever meet in your life. But no matter how ghetto or hood I am, I can never never fathom what is happening to black people their entire lives their entire ever since the Persians the Persians back in you know whatever 1600 or whatever it was maybe even before that it might have been the BC era I, I'm not that great on history but the, the the I'm trying to think of a way I could say this without cussing the stuff that they've had to put up with black people all over the world but mostly in America have there's no way to put words on what they've gone through so when they say black lives matter and i say black lives matter i mean all lives do matter but right now there is a form of life which is black people that are being shown through police brutality through you know house funding home housing funds through job markets, through everything, that they are being persecuted. They have been persecuted for hundreds of years, thousands of years even, and they're, until they matter, nobody matters. We need to step up our game, America. And I like the fact that I don't like being political, but this isn't political, this is humanity, okay? But I will say the fact that Niantic is donating money to help people that are already a leg behind is something to speak for itself, guys. If a black man was to walk into an office 
wearing a nice suit and tie, have his hair done, speak professionally, no slang at all, and he walked into an office and presented a game, a simple game that could be an AR game, and it could be the best idea ever heard. And then a white guy follows up behind him wearing jeans and a t-shirt, and have his hair like all dreaded up or whatever or painted pink and purple with tattoos on his face and walks into an office and presents that same idea there's a very good chance that the white man will get the job and not the black guy and it's simply because he's black and i'm not saying that happens everywhere all the time but it does happen and there is a problem with that so for niantic to dedicate funds that cannot be taken by other races is a great thing and i love that about this event so i can tell you guys right now i will be participating in this event not just because i want to not just because it's pokemon but the fact that i know that it is one of the many little things that i do to help the black community and guys i can tell you right now they need help they need support they need more than just you know people standing around singing kumbaya they need a change in america i want to walk into a room where me and a black male can both be looked at as equal and that is martin luther king's dream guys not just the fact that you know there's a lot of mixed people out there the racism has taken a back seat in america however however it is still there and that is where the problem lies until we abolish racism black lives do not matter and until black lives do matter all lives do not matter that's all that i'm going to say about this guys i'm sorry if it's an unpopular opinion but the fact is i see people you know i i'm not gonna say i don't see color because i do see color and it's a mix of colors that make beauty you know you can't just draw a picture on a white piece of paper with white ink and be like look how pretty it is you have to have black you have to have yellow you have to have green and blue and purple and all that stuff to make a picture pretty and until this picture is pretty guys this there then i'm always going to be this way so anyways guys i gotta go my dogs are barking my wife needs something i love all of you it's been real it's been fun i love all of you no matter who you are and i will see you all in the next one have a great night